Saturday agenda. Joining us, Rob Carson is the host of the Rob Carson Show, the podcast. We appreciate both of you on. Um, so we've got two Robs on, so I'm going to do this as best as I can without getting everyone confused. Uh, Rob Astorino, if I could start with you on this one. Um, the criticism is out there, especially from Republicans, from conservatives, from MAGA world, from those that don't really identify with a, uh, a, a political group, if you will, but they see Waltz, uh, Harris Waltz, as the most radical ticket the U.S. has ever seen. You've seen that on social media. How do you feel about this ticket? This is the greatest day for Donald Trump because this is uh, exactly what they hoped for. I mean, Shapiro really would have been the right pick for Kamala Harris, but it just proves that they have an anti-Semitism problem. Either she does personally or the left, which is ruling the roost right now for the Democratic Party, certainly does. Because there's no logical reason to not pick Josh Shapiro. When you're a governor, you control the entire state apparatus for the party. So Josh Shapiro would have had every county committee, every volunteer, uh, state employees that are loyal to him, you know, everybody locking down Pennsylvania to make sure that they win, which is really the key in most minds of winning the whole presidency. So she bypassed that for Minnesota, which hasn't voted for a Republican since 1972. And it's, it's kind of remind of uh, 1968, you know, the convention in Chicago where there was rioting and all hell broke loose. You know who was on the ticket in 1968? A Minnesotan, uh, Hubert Humphrey. And he yeah. got crushed in the Electoral College by Richard Nixon. So it's yeah. shaping up for Americans as a real easy race. It is really far left versus conservative. But this gives Donald Trump an opportunity now to drift over a little bit and get those independents who okay. despise what's happening with immigration, the wokeness, sure. and the economy. Yeah, list goes on and on. Uh, we got the reaction from uh, Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania. We'll read it, and then we'll get Rob Carson's reaction uh, to this. Again, this is the Pennsylvania governor. It was a lengthy statement. Here's the, the end of it. Vice President Kamala Harris is my enthusiastic support, and I know that Governor Tim Walz is an exceptionally strong addition to the ticket who will help Kamala move the country forward over the next 90 days. I look forward to traveling all over the Commonwealth to unite Pennsylvanians behind Kamala Harris's campaign to defeat Donald Trump. Okay, Rob Carson, uh, VP Harris going with the Minnesota governor here. What are your thoughts? Well, I think she was inspired by the Olympics because she spread it away from her leftism. Then she passed him the baton, and he came back around. So they did a relay race uh, right back to socialism. I think this is fantastic. I think it's a major slight to both uh, blacks and Jews. Uh, first of all, blacks, because he's an open border guy. He said that for every uh, every uh, uh, segment of the wall that's built, he will sell uh, and build ladders for illegals. And to Jewish people, because Kamala Harris ran away from the Jewish candidate to a white German socialist. Now tell me if that is tone deaf in Israel's greatest hour of need right now, where they're facing uh, Iranian missiles, where she slighted uh, the prime minister of Israel at the airport, where she wasn't there for his speech, and then she chooses a white German socialist who happens to have presided over the state of Minnesota as thousands of businesses were burned to the ground. I mean, the irony is so ungodly thick here, combined with the fact that uh, this is uh, 1968 all over again. It just made a brilliant uh, observation observation there. I said that the two Zoom calls last week were Kamala Harris's constituents. They are white liberal cul-de-sac Karens and their emasculated husbands. And this ticket is that. Uh, Minnesota, I used to do radio there. I used to uh, live in the Twin Cities. This is ground zero for cul-de-sac Karen and emasculated socialist men. It is the most glorious pick I could have ever imagined. I was feeling a little down with Kamala's polling today, but I got to tell you, I couldn't be uh, more thrilled uh, that uh, he is the choice for her.